train in the nick of time. But we were leaving from Osaka and um, Osaka, my throat. We were leaving from Osaka and that's only like 15 minutes away from Kobe. We have bullet trains, so very close. Um, so we're gonna find a place to store our luggage for the day. And then, I actually don't know what we're doing this morning. We're going to get some Kobe beef, obviously. We're going to um, maybe Chinatown, because I think it's in the area. And yeah, we just have just a day here and then we're going to get on a bullet train this evening to come back uh, to Tokyo. And I can't believe we only have a couple days left. I'm sad. Mm, okay. than I thought it was going to be. I think like, depending on what season you're here for, um, different things are bloomed out. So not sure if we're here in like a, maybe not as popular season. There just like really wasn't anybody there. And we took the gondola up, but you can hike it if you are feeling up to the challenge. It is pretty high up. <laughs> I'm not sure how long it would take. And there's two gondola stations. So there's like a midway point where we like, we went all the way up to the top and then we walked back down to the midway point and now we're on the gondola back down. But you can get a round trip ticket to take the gondola both ways. You could do one way if you want to take it up and then walk back down. Now we're going to Chinatown and we're gonna get some Kobe beef because all we've had today was that freaking pear tart and <laughs> we're hungry. Yeah, and a cup of coffee. <laughs> yeah, and coffee.
Okay, this was recommended to us by a girl who works at a store we shopped at yesterday. How to eat the cheesecake. <laughs> All right, we accidentally ordered it upstairs to go and it wasn't gonna be melted like that. It was like instructions that you have to put it in a toaster. So some guy told us we could come in and now we're waiting for them to make it for us. Cheesecake. Okay, after a lot of effort and rough translations, we got our, <laughs> we got our cake. Lots of confusion about the fact that we had already ordered it. So lame. Apologies for the bad quality. I'm switching over to the phone because my camera died. What do you want? and we are here a bit later than I thought we were gonna be. It's like 11.30 p.m. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna go to bed. <laughs> and then, man, I can't believe it, but tomorrow is like our last full day in Japan, which makes me really freaking sad. Um, so you have all day tomorrow and then like half a day after that. I don't really know what we're gonna do yet. We've both been to Tokyo. I've been here twice. Yeah, we're just gonna kind of see where the day takes us. I'm gonna stop by Kapabashi Street, which is like the kitchen street where they sell all the fake foods that you see in restaurants everywhere here. Um, because I got a pork katsu keychain last time I was here and I'm obsessed with it and I want something else. So we're gonna go back. Okay, that's all for now.
Ja. <lacht> Balls. These blue cheese wagyu cutlet does not sound good. Good? Mm -hmm. by Sensoji Temple. I, mean, I just want to say that this area can be really crazy packed with tourists. Pretty crazy today. Um, a lot of people out. I would really recommend if you've never been here before to take one of the side streets off of the main street which is called Nakamise Shopping Street. If you literally take any side street and just walk a ways there are a ton of really cool places in this area. It's a really great place to get lost and find a lot of things like we just walked a few blocks down and found this entire like indoor area called Asakusa Yokucho which like nothing's open right now but we needed a bathroom um, but it looks so cool and I would have never found this by just like looking on the map and I've never heard of it before so there's just so many places like this around and great street food like in this entire area so if you don't feel like fighting with crowds of thousands of people just walk away two or three minutes and you'll find a whole new area is over more on the west side of Tokyo. And so we just were like, what the heck, let's come over here and see if we can find something new to do because there's so much stuff over here. So yeah, that's what we're doing.
for months in the United States. And she said that they're only here for like a month. It's like a special thing. And they were cheaper than what they were listed. And I got them tax free. Bada bing, bada boom. That's how we do it. We got a little QR code to order. Also, I perfectly asked for the menu in Japanese, <laughs> yes. right? Yes. Needed proof. So we got an English menu. Something that's not on the map. So. <laughs> yeah. You just gotta wander around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We are um, at. Happy Street right now in Sakusa, which is like just a bunch of places to eat, like Isekai style. And we just walked around and sat down at one. And then I was trying to find it on Google Maps and it's literally not there. So that is the magic of Japan and it's really good. Hard to go wrong. Do it, people. Just do it. So much food. Yum! Hoichi rice. This is the restaurant. So. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. It was really good. Definitely recommend it. This is in Hoppy Street. Okay, this is in Hoppy Street. Actually, Hoppy Street is like right there. It's like one little turn, and this is it. They do have an English menu, but all your ordering is done via QR code, so it's really easy and very good. for the APA hotels. They are literally everywhere in Japan. 
or at least in the major cities, very cheap. And literally have everything that you need. They have vending machines, microwaves, ice, laundry. We did our laundry here. Um, they have breakfast, lunch and dinner, like usually a little cafe in each of them. And I mean, the rooms are pretty small. So like if you have big luggage like us, that has been a bit of a task. But they have everything that you need in the rooms, like a lot of things. Yeah coffee and tea and an electric kettle and a nice shower and bath and a full like vanity and mirror. Um, they do like housekeeping services every day, either in your room or they'll leave you a little bag outside the door. I've previously stayed in hostels on all my trips to Japan. Um, but this time we stayed in APA. And I think honestly the price is pretty similar. Um, maybe a little bit more expensive, but you get your own bathroom, so that's like the biggest difference. No, it's okay. Yeah, so this is our room, and the, they leave a little bag outside if you ask them to, which we did. Otherwise, they'll completely like turn over your hotel room. Or you get a bag with like fresh coffee, tea, and towels. You do have to put your key in here to activate the AC and the lights and I'm stuck in the door. Um, but it turns on like super quickly and obviously you can see that the room is quite small so um, it cools down really quickly. And our luggage is freaking huge. It's taking up a ton of space but there's a bathroom here with a sink and a bathtub. The shower is really nice have a TV yeah I don't know what do we pay like $60 a night for this room so. but this is the end of our last night in Japan you have any reflections <laughs> I don't want to go back <laughs> yeah <laughs> I know fish market um, because we ended up coming on a Sunday and it was not open so today is Monday well, we're gonna finish strong with some really good food this is like kind of a touristy thing but I would recommend doing it like every time you come to Japan it's really good this is my no this is only my second time PK your second time mm -hmm. we didn't do it the first time I came and I really regretted it so you have to come if you're in Tokyo. It's well worth the hype.
What was your favorite part of the trip, do you think? Climbing Mount Fuji. Yeah, kind of hard to beat climbing Mount Fuji. Pretty epic experience. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, thanks for watching. I feel like this is going to be long in many parts. We'll see. <laughs> um, and hopefully, I'll see you next time we travel. Bye. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments. Sayonara. Bye bye.